Welcome to my channel Make Easy. In this channel you will get videos related to the programming, related to the computer number system and topics related to the computers. So if you are interested just watch the playlist and videos of this YouTube channel. It's specifically today we are discussing about different ways of problem solving. It includes algorithm, flowchart and how to make algorithm and flowchart. Please check out the link in the description for more videos. In this specific video, we will talk about problem solving technique in computer programming. If you are learning programming language, it can be QBasic, it can be C, it can be C++ or Java or any other programming language. This is very much important for you. So agenda for this tutorial. First, we will discuss about the definition of problem solving technique. Why problem solving technique? What is the requirement for that? And then we will discuss about algorithm, flowchart coding that is programming and then debugging means checking the correction correcting the programs and then running hello i'm santo sarma i'm here because i love to share knowledge and you can find me at facebook username is cool santos triple o okay definition first of all uh, before discussing this definition maybe this video will be a little bit large so you must watch till the end to understand everything very clearly okay so why problem solving technique we required in our real life in our regular life we are getting many types of problem example you are in place and there is no pharmacy near to you to get the medicine if you are sick then what is the way to get medicine so that is also a problem for that solution we are going to discuss about these things in programming as well as in real life there are many types of problem for solving that problem we are going to discuss about this technique to solve the problem okay anyway problem solving technique provides all steps every steps if you want to get medicine you have to travel from your home to shop and then you have to purchase you have to pay money and then you have to get back like that it provides all steps like algorithm flowchart or block diagram coding program debugging testing which are used in computer programming so problem solving technique provide us this all things algorithm flowchart block diagram coding debugging everything we'll discuss in detail so this is what definition and especially we are discussing with the programming okay first algorithm algorithm means you get the solved problem then algorithm means it is a solution design okay first after the analysis of the problem you get the problem that can be any you are making some software because software help you to solve your problem and after analysis of the problem you know exactly what type of problem you have it is possible to list out all the steps that must be followed for the solution okay after you know what is the problem so you can list out all the steps what you need to do to solve that issue it must be followed for solution solution okay this may be written in details you can write down in your paper in details like you i will do first this and then that 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 like that the detailed series of steps are written for the computer because we are dealing with the computers we are dealing with programming so detailed series of steps are written for the computer for computer we'll write that in order to produce the desired result because after writing that steps after doing that all steps will get the solution that is result the set of this step is commonly known as algorithm so what is algorithm algorithm is a step by step process to get the solution for the problem is algorithm simple in simple language the term algorithm may be formally defined as the sequence of instruction sequence of instructions means sequence of steps designed in such a way that if instruction are executed in the sequence specified sequence in the same order if we execute that if we do that the desired result will be obtained so if we write the steps what to do when to do how to do and if you follow that then we'll get the result we'll get the solution for our problem so that is all about algorithm 
now flow chart solution design again the flow chart or block diagram we can say flow chart as a block diagram also help you to pictures the solution of a program or to a problem so after writing of algorithm we'll convert that algorithm in diagrammatical form in a picturized view so that is what the flow chart is it makes a map or picture of flow of activities of the program so after watching the flow chart flow chart is diagrammatical representation of algorithm all steps it will display uh, from which step we have to go to the next step and after solving like map type if you have to visit from your home to city then we'll go through these steps from there to there and from there to left like that so this is what flowchart once this picture with the help of flowchart symbol is drawn the coding of the program becomes easy so before we write program remember this point very important before we write coding before we write any program in any programming language we'll just make the algorithm and then flowchart and then after that by watching that by viewing that flowchart and algorithm we'll write the program so this is the pre request for our program okay so flowchart in flowchart there are many symbols we have to use there are few i will discuss here the symbols are here the name for that symbol is here and the use is here so first of all this symbol name is terminal it is used to display the starting and ending point of our program starting as well as ending this is called terminal and this is the shape rounded shape rectangle rounded rectangle you can say and next is you can see here rectangle or uh, yeah rectangle so this is used to display the process calculation or assigning value to the variable like if you want to do calculation of two number you have to declare a variable and if you have to assign a value to that so for that we'll use this the name of this is process and then for input output we have to use this symbol if we want to take input from the user enter any number and in qbasic read input is there in c programming printf scanf like that so for that we have to use this one symbol for input and output if you want to display something to the output screen we have to use this if you want to take input you can use this one input output and this diamond like symbol called decision so this is basically used to check the condition if uh, let's say one example if raining then i will take umbrella else i will not going to take umbrella so like that if you want to check any condition then we have to use this symbol and connector which is used to connect our flow chart and then this arrow is used to just uh, display from where to where we are drawing flow charts okay so next is coding the procedure of writing a program is called coding in any programming language if you write the code then that is called coding a program is a man method of conveying to the computer in a language which can which it can understand the program is just nothing but a man way man's way means human's way to write or human's way to request the computer to do something that program which you are writing only we can understand so only during the first few years computer programs are prepared in actual machine language or machine code machine language machine code means zero one before a few years before few means like 70 80 years before we just write the code in zero one form but nowadays we are writing in this code form like print scan like that so today most program are written in symbolic language symbolic language in called source code whatever the program we write in qbasic like print input cls and then in c programming printf scanf get cs cler scr everything that is called symbolic language called source code whatever the rank program we write when it translate into the machine code is called object code after we click on the run button the program which we have written in programming is converted into the machine code in zero one form that is called object code this is also very much important the source program is usually written in coding sheet like software for QB6. There is QB64, QB1.0, 
for C programming there is code block for C++ also code block so there are many software turbo C++ so in that we'll write the program then enter into the computer after writing that we'll just click on the run button so it will convert it into the computer then after that after writing a code we have to check whether there is some error or not debugging is just the process of checking whether that program will give correct output or not without any error okay when the program has been coded then it is executed manually to find out any possible errors manually executed manually means we'll check that step by step by writing very values and like that this process is termed as dry run if we write the step by step process to find the output of the program without using the computer just by yourself in copy or in computer by using any tools then that is what dry run if you want to see that I have already made the video on that flogorithm. You can watch that. I will provide the link in the description. The step of uh, dry run. If any error is found, then it is removed before entering. So if we found any error, we will remove that. That is debugging. After feeding the program to the computer, it is executed to find out any syntax or logical error. If we run on, click on the run button, then that will display the logical error as well as syntax error in the, our program. So this entire process is called debugging. All programming compiler and interpreter are designed to detect the syntax error. If you are using different type of language like QBasic uses interpreter and C programming uses compiler to convert your program into the machine understandable code like computer understandable code. So this is what to detect the syntax error it will display the syntax error when it is running. After that when we check everything then after that we will run the program. After dex checking and debugging, the program may run fine in the laboratory. After checking all things, the program will run. However, in that in then need to be tested with the real data and real users called beta testing. Example, if you have seen in Google Play Store, in any application that is written beta, when they publish the application first, they will uh, allow few users to use that to provide the feedback whether that application is working properly or not on the basis of user feedback they will change something if there is so that is what beta testing after all done then whatever the software you have made you can sell that to your customer indeed it even advisable to test with the bad data that is faulty incomplete or over rambling quantities to see if you can make the system crash so before if you are a developer let's say you are learning programming language you are a developer you are making software so let's say you develop one software for your college and if you want to sell that software first of all you will check that whether that is working properly or not by giving to the many users like 10 12 users 15 users 50 users and while that is testing you will enter the wrong data or random data to that software so if it work fine by giving wrong output as well fine but if your software crash when you are entering wrong data then you have to test that also before you sell your software okay so this much for today thank you for watching if you like this concept if you understand this concept please click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends and in the next video i will be showing you explaining you how to write the algorithm as well as flowchart for different problems for different questions have a good day